Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. Our guest tonight is one of the governors from the great county of Kiambu. Not the current one. Ule Mwanyana Jua Kizungu. Honorable William Kabogo is in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For those watching us for the first time, this show is custom made to make you happy, especially about things designed to make you sad. And so much of that is happening in Kenya right now. Take the case of Anthony Moremi, a gentleman from Embu County, who has been sentenced to two years in prison for attempted suicide after he spent 12 hours on a, sitting on a, a 60 meter high communication mast, chewing mira and ignoring uh, the police and residents who are busy urging him to come down, which still does not make sense because even if he came down, he would still be high. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, at one point, he even urinated on the people. <laughs> he will now be in prison for the next two years. Moral of the story, judging from the prison sentence he got, jumping from a 60 meter high mast is safer than urinating on a crowd. <laughs> of course, two years uh, in prison sounds better than kitu wange mfanyia kama angeshuka wakati polisi wabeenda, ama kama polisi ya wako. Different story. Uh, tunasema pole kwa familia, marehemu walikojolea wa Kenya. <laughs> Uh, kila mwananchi anajua kwamba imeadikwa kojoa upigwe na hiyo ndio maana tumekusanyika hapa siku ya leo na tuibe asusu 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 <laughs> now in other news there has been a public outcry after word broke that uh, over 20 MPs had gone to Russia for the World Cup finals at the expense of the taxpayer guys you need to calm down first of all it's not regular members of parliament that were in Russia these were members of Bunge FC that's the uh, parliament football team. And if you have watched them play, you will understand why they really needed to go to Russia and watch how football is played. Have a look at Waishimio in action and tell me if you still don't think they needed that trip. <laughs> that is one clip that explains how most government projects move. How do you even commentate on that? <laughs> Now, elsewhere in Tanzania, President uh, John Magufuli has ordered that prisoners in the country start working day and night, a move that seems to have been inspired by Kenyan prisoners who also work day and night to make sure that Kenyans send money to the wrong number. <laughs> and now to the main subject of our show tonight, is devolution working and are Kenyans overly represented? I'm not going to answer that question. I'll give you a relatable situation, and then I'll let you judge for yourself. For example, the number of people that Croatia brought to the World Cup was 12. That's the 11 players plus the coach. If you include their president, it's 13 people when you're Tunajua. <laughs> Key point here is they were playing in the finals. Kenya! Sisi wenye ile kikombe tunapigania ni Rosalie na kombe peke yake. We took over 20 people wenye tunajua renowned politicians to represent us in the World Cup on official capacity. Now imagine if Harambe Stars was playing in the finals. I know it's hard to imagine but just imagine. Harambe Stars was playing in the final. 20 would have been the number of people we left in the country. Now ni wasi wanduthi wenye wamekata kuenda di waingieta ovi le wanataka. Jukanjo wote wako Moscow. Now this situation has technically been replicated in our system of government, especially if you pay attention to questions like why do we need a governor, senator, women rep, and MCAs, whereas all these uh, posts have previously been held by one person. Angu ni governor, pandiyo mwigine ni senator, pandiyo mwigine ni special branch, pandiyo mwigine ni prosecutor. Exactly. Mtu moja na fezafanyezo job zote. But of course, this is a pedestrian argument. There are counties that have truly delivered even beyond Mwananchi's expectations with the new default governments. The Grand Mullah recently tweeted a picture that best describes how unequal our counties are. Hiyo ni comparison ya Mombasa County na Homa Bay County. <laughs> now, we cannot ignore the fact that uh, some of the greatest corruption exposés have come with the county governments. But before you jump into conclusions on this, though, former Meru governor Peter Munya has a very valid explanation to this. Uh, corruption in the county becomes child play if you compare with the mega corruption at the national level. Look at NYS, look at the youth fund. You are talking about billions. 
In the counties, you are talking about wheelbarrows. <laughs> now, to put this uh, comparison into perspective, imagine someone suspected of cheating akijitete ya hivo. Ati ya, honey. Sasa umenishika na kashugu waka moja unataka kufanya maatamano. Acha ni kuwabia wa esimi wapo wako na toto ishirini ije na na maisha inaedelea. Mpore wa edio first lady. Now I believe most of our leaders mean well for the country. In fact I agree with the deputy president uh, William Ruto when he said that corruption cannot hinder development. Ni kusikumana na iyo corruption tukienda. In my opinion though, the greatest enemy of development is disagreements on areas of development. For example, MCAs are always fighting. Actually, the abbreviation now stands for Mewethas of County Assemblies. <laughs> People usually get mad that they are fighting without realizing that sometimes they fight for a good reason. Take the case of Kericho, for example. Monday morning drama at the Kericho County Assembly. Tuduwaeleza kwamba, ama walituweleza kwamba tunaitaji maji, barabara, shule za chakechea, walimu wa chakechea, the governor wants to build an airport wengine wanataka maji wali muanasari sababu hile ndege wanajua ni kuku but which <laughs> do not fly so they do not need an airport you see they are fighting for a reason ni ngumi ya maendeleo the only disadvantage to that uh, is that the point gets lost which in turn delays delivery of services just and just like that five years gone no teachers no airport Governor akitaka kujenga project kubwa kama airport shida. Governor akiamua ku launch cattle dip anatubeba ngombe. Why do pe what do people want and what will it take for devolution to work best? We have invited uh, former Kiambu governor Hon Honorable William Kabogo to help us answer as many questions as possible regarding this and more on the other end of this break. See you in a bit. Back to the weekend edition, I'm Dr. Kingori. The subject on our show tonight include, uh, revolves around devolution, governance, and how the concept actually works. And our guest, like I say, perfect for the show, an experienced governor, Honorable William Kabogo. Alafu, I read his Wikipedia page, reads Alizaliwa 1963. So he and the country, him and the country are age mates. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> For most people who may not remember this, I remember this very late. The governor does not play with the fire. <laughs> 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 governor, you are there and you are not there. Kabisa. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay, on a danger. Ah, on a hammer. Nilikuwa nataka kuuliza about high school fires alafu nikao na wewe ukaangi karibu na moto. Ulijuaje uko safe ndio Ile tu makanyanga, si umiona vile ni metoka. Umiona vile ni metoka. Ungecheki mahali niliwakisha moto, na mahali nilisimamia, hata Usain Bolt. Tuliku ita speed governor. Kwa kwa story. All the governors in Kiambu have one thing in common. Watu walisomea, India. Punjab. Punjab. So, na kuna accusation, mulu kwa mna soma na luka gani juu, ni kiindi kwa sababu kuna wengine tunasikia? Pale mimi nilikuwa, tulisoma kizungu, na kiteleza sana na sema kiindi. Kiasi. Oh, so, kakini kizungu was the main, yes. 
the medium anaweza endelea kidogo unajua kisema calculus hesabu inafanywa namna gani aingie kidogo anasema you know yar tick tick by you know that is okay okay tick by ni you take it tick 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 is it okay tick tick by you tick by is a young man huku by ni b ndio namna hiyo kwa hivyo tulisoma na kizungu <laughs> na kiindi kiasi. Ah, swali yangu ya kwanza especially on the subject of devolution. Yes. Ni does it work first? It works. It works when people are serious. Yes. Mahali inafanyika inafanyika. Yes. Eh. Lakini kama ni mchezo wa paka na panya kutafutana na pesa ya kujimudu kimtu ah. kama uko governor haifanyiki. Why is it that we always complain of failures nini? And we can't blame corruption. Uh, unajua yeah. pesa ya umma attracts a lot of things. Okay. One third of that money goes to development. The other two third goes to wastage, kama hiyo umeona ya, ya Russia. Okay. Uh, the other one third goes into people's pockets. And this is day in day out, regardless kama ni serikali ya uh, county au serikali ya national government. Wewe ukiwa governor what did you do to make sure that uh, watu wajaenda Russia? First thing to seal hiyo maneno yote ukiangalia katika uh, mambo ya Kiambu yeah. there is not even one day governor wa Kiambu first governor mimi yes. nilipeleka MCS on any safari wacha Mombasa hata hapa Naivasha haikufanyika <laughs> haikufanyika kama we unajua one third goes to west one third kwa mfuko na one third Russia w w what can be done ama that we are cast on stone there is no way first and foremost ni nimesema sana kwa social media in yes. the recent past you want to stop corruption first stop cash transactions mara moja watu wa rais akiamka leo ambie treasury make a, a, a recommendation that we have rules pesa ya taslimu isichukuliwe katika mabanki you want to pay anyone pay through rtgs lipa hata kwa mpesa ili yule ambaye anapokea pesa iweze kumfikia and you can account for money that you received lakini hii ya kupeleka accountant to account anaenda benki anachukua milioni 12 asubuhi kesho anachukua tano. hiyo pesa inaenda mifukoni mwa watu okay. directly so moving forward solution ni pesa soft copy yes <laughs> mara moja na wakiiba waibe soft copy okay. itafuatiliwa tu na itajulikana when you are in <coughs> you are governor no one uh, traveled hata Mombasa oh, hakuna wende. hakuna kabisa na... mimi mwenyewe nisafiri na oh. mahali nisafiri nilikuja na matunda ambaye saa hii what ya come to wana enjoy wewe ulienda na wengine nimeenda uh, ulaya mambo ya kidney tumefungua kidney plant thika nimeenda india mambo ya ujenzi wa plant uh, ya kuuza ama hapana ya... <laughs> as you see sio zambuzi na watu <laughs> mambo ya uh, treatment of kidney disease transplant yes. na mambo kama hayo okay. nimeenda india tumekuja na uh, design mpya ya kujenga hospitali yes. we've built a hospital in thika gorofa sita vitanda 375 kwa milioni 800 hiyo kama ingejengwa na national government to explain your story yeah. uh -huh. uh, why banks need to renegotiate uh -huh. uh, the terms za kupea wasido because like you say the post and i quote exactly Kenyans are suffering people are not buying from auctioneers yes yeah, it's a very serious subject but you could ukatwambia na the best you can do in sheng will not laugh at you for this you know struggle. i may not be able to tell you and then you get it right but i will try yes that's how i'm say umeingia benki yes umekopa pesa yes wamekupa dogo kiasi fulani uh -huh. sio yes tuseme ya kununua shamba na kulima yes umejaribu kulima umegonga mali sio na ngoja ya sheng yes uh, sa, 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 <laughs> mina jaribu levo yangu ni kiswahili sanifu oh. ni kiswahili sanifu na jaribu levo yangu um, alafu utatuambia unitoka wapi na st george's in 1975 ah uh, siku hizo hakuku wa sheng bwana St George's ni pata A3 nikaingia Thika Tech A3 you needed three years to go to a technical school 36 points out siku acha technical kitu. school hiyo time alikuwa nafanya Thika zilikuwa tano Thika Sigalagala Kabete eh, Kakamega sijui na gani there were five in the whole country so in the three years to na nikafanya electrical engineering nikikufungia stima jo yale tashanga sasa sasa swali tu simple mm. Let's go, back to, let's go back to, let's go back to gam, eh? uh, banking okay. because it's very important. Okay. I said Kenyans are suffering. Okay. Because they've borrowed money from banks. Uh -huh. You borrowed 100,000 shillings 
umesha okay. rudisha 180 na bado unadaiwa 200,000. Wanachukua mali yako wanapeleka kwa auctioneer. Inakaa kwa auctioneer inaibiwa kila kitu unachukuliwa inauzwa 20,000 unafuatwa mpaka nyumba ya uh, mambo ya nyumbani. Okay. When will we stop this nonsense? Kuna advolerum law tulipitisa katika bunge. You cannot pay a loan more than you borrowed. Iko kwa ma desk ya watu acquiring dust. Okay. Why don't you tell the banks, renegotiate with these people. Waongezeni pesa, waenda wafanya biashara, ata kulipa pamoja na hiri ambeleni. Isn't it just common sense? Sisi ambayo uh, tunafanya biashara level ya juu. Mimi nafanya biashara na jenga manyumba. Okay. In a place where nimeenda nimekwama, narudi kwa benki na ambia, I will not be able to pay you unless you add me some more money. And I'm serious. They know that I will not pay. So no, the choice is yours. <laughs> the choice is yours. So when, if we can make laws in this country yes. to safeguard the young men and women of this nation, yes. people will become serious entrepreneurs. There are not enough white-collar jobs. Hakuna kazi za kutosha kwa jiri watu. Yes. Lakini, we can employ ourselves. Governor, I, need to, I think that's a very valid point, but we need to clarify something. This, what we're going to do is in your bank. We're going to go to the bank and we're going to get the money. That only works with when uh, you have a lot of money, or you are kabogo. Not only me, it works for very many people. It's just that banks are not pushed hard enough. So you have to push Yes, and we make laws that will allow renegotiations. What is the point of taking my Toyota Corolla? 180 or 90 or my small Mercedes. Yeah. Pack it in uh, uh, um, an auctioneer's and it stays there acquiring dust. Nobody is buying. How does the ben uh, bank benefit? We can go back to the bank and say, I was to pay you in 12 months. Why don't I pay you in 24 months and allow me to use my car as an Uber? The little money to make as an Uber will be able to pay you. Is that really rocket science? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, makes sense. Makes sense, Sana. Makes sense, and I really think you guys should give us your feedback on what you think about uh, what Honorable Kabogo is saying about renegotiating terms of paying back debt. Lakini apa kwa story ya steamer, aezi to help How did you transition from fundi wa steamer to politics? What happened in the end of India, kusoma electrical engineering. Fika uh huko -huh. nikasikia lazima ufanya six years. Six years. Okay. Hapo, mahali niliona. Unaogopa kitu ya kuenda six years. Sa hiyo hiyo, nika decide siwezi piga miaka sita. Nika pigi ya buda, nika wambia ya hapa haiweze kani. Haiweze. Haka nyambia utasoma. Nika wambia haiweze kani, kumefungwa. Ile kosi mebaki ni hii. Nika ruka kosi ya miaka tatu, ya accounting. Nika piga na nika rudi ni mani. Haupendi mavitu long term. Haa, pana, siyo long term. Pale ni shida. Chakula, shida. Makao, shida. Nalafu mambo ingine, haipatikani. Na hiyo na... Sasa. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's why I'm cool, Nana. Aya, like in the weekend, apale. Yes. Me akaya tuile. Yes. Ulikuwa lazima utasoma kiindi. Lazima usome kiindi. Because mwalimu peke yake nani ya klasi ndi ya najaribu kuzungumza kizungu. Peke yake. Wengi ne wote kiindi. Kasa wewe kwenye schooli ni rickshaw ili ya kubeba na baiskeli ya panyuma. Utamambiaje ata kupeleka hapa. Ulise ulise maio kitu ya it's okay ni buy buy what? Yeah. Tik tik bai. Tik tik bai. Yeah. Sasa ukimuita na ambia, kanji bai, ajao. Yeah. Eight minute G, yani no, one minute my friend. Apana. <laughs> Siki kamba. Yeah. 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 Na badu unakumbuka hiyo. Sa hiyo hiyo unataka kuambia dem, mako smart. Unajua sasa tuku katika ugeni. Eh, hey, hiyo unataka kusikia. Yeah. Ya, yeah. apke sonu. Apke bohotu kubsurata ho. <laughs> 
Eh, yani bahot ni sana. Eh, kup surat yani uko sura iko sana. Kup surat ni. Eh, kup sura kabisa. Bati na kaka kama matu. Sasa wewe usijaribu hapa kwa sababu na nitaka Yeah, kuna complaints the workers going on strike because of there is no money uh, money has not been disbursed and stuff the, you guys call, uh, governors want to collect revenue na kuna burden of uh, some kama some of the services that have been devolved kama health were not supposed to be given to the counties your agreement ilifanywa wapi ndio tujua hamna agreement ya kugawa mamlaka ama kugawa functions the agreement is our constitution okay uh, the, the second the fourth schedule gives uh, projects that are uh, or functions that are for the national government and the functions ambazo is a uh, county government okay. so county governments got 14 functions healthy kiwa moja okay lakini maneno ya kusema serikali haifanyi au inafanya that is besides the point are we serious enough sisi mimi kama kabago was i serious enough why do you think i was shown the door because you are serious seriousness enough. baba Eh. Watu wanasema ngati politicians wenye wanaiba ama wenye wanaoshadow wanasanya wanaokota pesa ya watu ni kwa sababu they are not rich enough so wameingia hapo wa kule. Can, can you say that so well, kwa there's a time to... kulikuwa nasemekana nafikiri alikuwa at uh, uh, high commissioner wa UK. Yes. When he said you're picking on our shoes. Uh, na mwingine akaandika kitabu it's our time to eat. Yes. That is the mentality of most of us unfortunately. Lakini na itakuwaje wewe utakuwa huna loloti. Tangu uzaliwe mpaka 2013. Huna loloti. Umekaa mwaka 40 na umetafuta juu chini hupati. Lakini ukiingia serikalini after 5 years tajiri namba 3. Wewe uliingia tu tu. Nikiwa tajiri. <laughs> <laughs> na nikatoka 20 uh, 2007 kwa muda wa miaka miwili au nikiwa tajiri bado hata hata kuonja kuonja tu wewe unafikiri ningepatikana na hizo vitu sahihi ningekuwa nje there are claims that uh, you you lost not because you hadn't done you hadn't worked for Kiambu people mm -hmm. but because kuna propaganda ili leak almost last minute that really discredited ili leak your candidate well there was a propaganda yes that was manufactured okay that i insulted women okay what makes me very happy from where i sit now yes they don't say i didn't work oh wanasema yule jamaa job yes alitapa ulinyorosha job mm lakini alitusiwa mama sasa wakaulizwa nani alitusiwa alitusiwa mama wapi why don't you bring one tape let me tell you propagandists Sijuzi mheshimiwa deputy governor ameingia kwa TV na akasema I want to apologize to bwana Kabogo for the things we said that were not true. Si sahi wakizozana amesema hivyo. Yes. Tena bado watakuja wengine na mimi si mchawi. Wewe 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 vengeance the bible says vengeance is for the lord for those who believe and I am a believer. You are a believer. Yes. Lakini eh, governor wewe pia mbona huko pika makofi yani mimi ni believer Nilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> nataka sikuwa sikuwa siku, siku nataka kumake comment hapo kwa kuokoka but then eh, wewe pia as much as possible watu usema wewe wewe pia si kidogo hapo kwa kwa kusema uh, sikuwa kusema uh -huh. like kuna kuna image tu about we yenye uingiza wase baridi wewe tu naezekana like, eh Naezeka. uingiza wase baridi eh yeah. Mtu alitoa wapi courage ya kukupiga na propaganda? Ulijua ni nani? Sasa sene wao wao ni nani mwingine? Who are the beneficiaries of that propaganda? It is them. But at least they gave me some months off, some years off uh -huh. so I can uh, kidogo niangalie mama, nikae na watoto, niangalie biashara namna gani. Okay. Tukirudi turudi na bang. <laughs> uh, uh, aya Asante sana kwa kukamisho yetu. Hopefully tukiwa na maswali mob uh, tena za devolution na kitu yote inakuhusu tutakuita tena hope utakam. Thank you for honoring our invite. Anytime lakini joto hapa. Eh, joto ni mob zaidi. Kudu gar 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 hard. It's, eh? it's very hard. Na hiyo kizungu yako kuna kizungu fulani na kuanga nayo si hapo Punjab. Hmm. <laughs> si hapo Punjab. Yeah, hiyo ya yeah. hey man I got
kuna saa nyingine wewe slide wewe slide mm. unakuwa kali graphic plan hii ilitoka wapi <laughs> ni mazoea you know if you are smart <laughs> you, you need to be smart unajaribu kusema yeah, nini unajua mzee mmoja alienda kagonga meet akiwa na gari uh-huh. polisi wakaja uh-huh. hey buddy what's the beef what's cooking here <laughs> I scared the man said, man, ain't no beef, man. I was just fine a size my spouse. Good down, man. <laughs> you know? Some serious stuff, man. Ah! 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 Just because that, too. Uki katia dem, lazima unge kwa uko sawa. Uki katia dem na iyo uko na... Kama dem sasa ni wa loving tone, na iyo umetoka ruiru. Paka ujipange. So yo yo na wak na wak na wak sana. Na try kwa demo na wiki. Hata America sasa niko sawa. Na nikienda Britain si ulizi ateta. Ate. Tabanya. Asio. Mesema governor mwingine pale Britain. Pale Britain kazi ngo ati ati ai. Eh ngumu. Atelele. Wewe. Wewe. Sawa. Acha tufungie hapo. Sawa. Tuseme asante sana kwa kukamu. Cool. Si ndio? Thank you. Aya. Asante sana. Watu na kofi ya gala. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.